My name is Mira. Um, you may know me as Mira Ray or Mira J. Ray from my social media. Um, a little bit about myself. I've been cosplaying for roughly five years now and I've been going to cons all through those years as well. Um, most of the time I go to SMX cons and these days I also own a booth there where I sell my cosplay prints and art. Um, so if you see me there, don't be shy and please say hi. Um, what else? Ah, one of my favorite things I like about cosplaying is actually doing my makeup. So if you guys want to know how I did this look, please keep on watching. Okay, let's start with the base. Put on foundation as is and blend it all away. For this, I use a foundation brush. You can also use a sponge such as a beauty blender, but it depends on the foundation that you are currently using. Next is concealer. I use one that's brighter than my foundation so that I am able to highlight the places where I want to put more um, or more emphasis on. Then blend. Moving on, let's contour the nose. When contouring the nose, I like to start with the lightest shade building up to the darker shade towards the center. Now remember to drag the light contour shade to the sockets of the eyes beneath the eyebrows in order to connect everything together. Now just keep blending until it's as natural as you want it to be. Next is powder. Place it wherever you get the most oily. Mine is on my T-zone, which means it's in my forehead, my cheeks, and on my nose. Brush it lightly. We really don't want it to be as cakey. Now let's contour the face. Hokusai's face is very cute in contrast to my more angular face. Focusing the contour at the very sides of my face, not really going to the hollows of my cheeks. The goal is to soften the edges of my face. Now the most delicate part when it comes to cosplay makeup, in my opinion, is eyebrows. Using a brown eyebrow pencil, we're going to draw the eyebrows straight. When fitting in a straight eyebrow, make sure the arch that you're creating is subtle. Not too high, not too low, but make sure that you still have an arch in order for it to be more natural looking. Eyebrows are hard, honestly. You have to make sure that they're uh, twins as much as possible and not like long distance cousins. It honestly took me a while to get it right considering I had to draw it on properly since I shaved the ends of my eyebrows for easy access for me. Okay, I usually don't use th do this, but I use an eyebrow pencil to sketch on my eyeliner in order for me to draft what type of eye look I'm going to make or eye shape I'm going to be making. Then we move on to the eyeshadow. Using the peach shade, I place it all over my lids, focusing on the edges, leaving the middle part quite bare. I then place a light nude shade on the top of my lids, right above where my pupil is placed. This for me gives a more brighter look and more larger look. Also, it emphasizes my monolid better since Hokusai, in my opinion, has monolids. If you would check closely, you would, you would see that compared to other characters, she has sharper eyes. So I tried to emulate that as much as possible. We then use a darker brown shade, almost like a liner, bringing it to the center part of my eye. Now, as much as possible, just blend them all together and retouch the parts where you see is a bit fading away, such as the side parts of my eyes and at the middle parts.
I then use a contour shade to do my egg yolk salad. For me, this is very important because it emphasizes the youthfulness of the character. Having a prominent egg yolk salad really helps tie in the look. This is especially important for people who are who are like me, who has egg yolk cells or like that eye bags under the eye, but is not as prominent as is. I just add a little bit of a uh, pink, a uh, pink eyeshadow at the corners of my eyelid, and blend them all together. Using a brush liner, I just follow the eyeshadow work we did a while ago. A trick I like to do to tie up the look more is that I use a pink nude shape and stamp it on the inner corners of my eye and on the space we created a while ago. It looks a lot more cohesive now. For the dimension, I add glitters on the very top part of my eye. Noticing that the under eye was washed out, I darkened it with the eyebrow pencil or you can use a brown eyeliner. Now, time for blush. Using a peachy shade, I started on the tip of my nose, then on my cheeks, placing ripe on my cheekbones, blending it inward for a Japanese blush. Notice that I place it very near to where my eye is. Now my favorite highlight, placing it where I usually put it, on the top of the cheeks, brow bone, nose bridge, and on the cupid's bow. Because Hokusai is a youthful looking character, I decided on a pink shade. Blending it with my fingertips, I add more as I need to. Yes, now time for me to be an egg. Putting on the wig, wig cap, I then add more highlight at the inner parts of my eye and on my egg gosal in order for it to pop up more. For the false eyelashes, I chose a wispy lash that's longer on the sides to emphasize Hokusai's sharper eyes. I also added some bottom lashes following the line that we did a while ago. And now we're done! This is the finished look. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy it. If you like what I do, uh, please follow my social media accounts, my Facebook and my Instagram. And if you find this video helpful, uh, leave it a thumbs up button down below and don't forget to subscribe for more Philippine cosplay content. If you have any questions, uh, you can uh, write them down below and I will personally try to answer them. Also don't forget, makeup is removable. So if you make a mistake, you can just always wipe it all clean and practice again until you're satisfied with what you do. Stay safe guys! Bye bye! Hey, thanks for watching! And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button! And don't forget to subscribe to this channel!